Why are you guys not dressed festively? We are dressed festively. We've decorated ourselves with their belongings. That's not festive, though. Colonel, I'm here to kill you. No, I'm not. Yes. Did you have an update on the cons? Why are you not in your office? That's also a lot of stars for a colonel. <laughs> Eight-star colonel, huh? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, the dark deed you requested is done. Excellent. You've done very well indeed. Okay, now what? I want to do more stuff. Our preliminary research shows that we have supply problems in Freeside. Oh, okay. Crocker's given presents to these savages for months and gotten nowhere. Destroy them all. D destroy all the presents, right? That's what you want us to destroy, yes? So batter to death them. Batter to death them? Batter? Batter to death them. I don't- th that phrase makes no sense. Even contextually, that phrase makes no sense. Dismissed. Okay, let's the go batter to death them. Batter to death them? No questions there were answered. <laughs> oh, and there was Betsy. She was waiting for us. Betsy! I need to exchange some weapons because I don't have the right weapons. So isn't it nice to have a Brahmin following us? Grab whatever weapons you want out of his sack? I mean, it is pretty nice just to have the this... You said his. It's a her. It's Betsy. Well, sorry. But isn't it nice to have the guns you need when you need them? It is pretty nice. I will admit that, yes. It's like a reindeer. <laughs> it's yeah. a Brahmin. <laughs> oh, yeah. We should put a little red nose on Betsy. <laughs> Which one? I, I don't... The one without the antlers. No, that, they're horns. They're not antlers. But uh, whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh... Shall we go commit mass murder, I guess? Yeah, let's go Let's go kill some more people. Let's go murder some more people in the name of Father Christmas. We've got long-range grenades. Let's see if I can hit... Uh, okay, so you see up there where that railing is? We let's... already know you're good with trajectories. I just want to... I want to make sure that I'm actually able to still do stuff. You're gonna embarrass yourself. I overshot by a, such a big margin. <laughs> This grenade launcher's wonky, man. Mm, yeah, yo, okay. Bad handyman blames his tools. Oh, okay, okay. No, so I was, I was close. I don't really understand how the sights are supposed to help you when you have to aim at like a forty-five degree angle. They're, they're really not. They really don't help. If you actually lined them up correctly, because that's your rear notch and that's your front notch. So if you actually lined them up correctly, where the grenade launcher's at an angle, then they would be effective. Hmm. But for some reason, they didn't fully understand how the grenade sights are supposed to work <laughs> in this game. Not quite like a rifle sight. They didn't really understand. Para See, the reason it's got that little screw right there. That I would give you a quick, quick educational lesson on this. The M79. It actually has two different sight apertures. So there's one down here at the base, there's a sight down there, and then there's a sight up here. So when you have to aim at somebody and arc your weapon, you raise the rear sight, so you, it... You tilt it up, and then there's range gradations for, I believe they're in 50 meter increments. So like, for example, if like this line is 100, then you move the rear sight to the 100 mark, and then you tighten the little wheel down. Good luck adding that range adjustment functionality to this game for every weapon. Yeah. Um, Less talky, more mass murder. Yeah, more mass murder. So do we have to wipe out the entire population of Freeside? Because there, there's a lot of people there. I think it's only a select few individuals. So maybe, maybe a grenade launcher won't be the most effective thing for wiping. I'm looking at you, Kimball. I see it. I see it there, Kimball. Gotcha. Yes, let's go! And don't use your grenade launcher, unless it's loaded with buckshot rounds. Then you can. <laughs> stacked, oh, whoa! They stacked a bunch of cars up at the entrance here. I don't remember that being there. <laughs> wow, it must have taken a lot of manpower. You guys can bring a crane? No, they just moved them themselves. They just moved them, because <laughs> I'm going to stop making that joke now. I feel like there's a few more people in Freeside lately. Yeah, maybe like a few more than normal. A few more businesses have opened up. Excuse me? Watch out! Watch out! What are we watching out for? Oh! <laughs> Gotta watch out for that guy by the mailbox. Oh, yeah, it was the guy by the mailbox again. God, I even made a joke about that a minute ago. Yeah. <laughs> That's new. I don't remember that. Oh, yeah, people are really expressing their distaste for the NCR. Hmm. Probably because they keep on committing war crimes. Probably. Flynn. Oh, is this... This is... A, I think this is a reference to, um... The Flynn Detective Agency. No, 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 no. I think it's a reference to uh, the movie Tron, because the arcade is called Flynn's. Oh, okay. I think. Bang, 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 bang. 
Look at the little shanties here. We got shanties. Wow, look at this. I would have expected no better from the residents of Freeside. This is, this is kind of impressive. Look at all these new decrepit ruins they added. The fiends have been less organized with Motor Runner gone. The fiends, but the fiends are less motorized with... The fiends are less motorized with Orga Runner dead. Oh, oh are we going Are we going into uh, the Mormon fort? Uh, I gotta kill the followers. Oh, uh... Alright, let's see. Um, Alright. Which one of you guys received a president... Hello. President, we have a president for you. Merry which Christmas. one of you? Which one of you received a present from uh, Crocker? I think this guy did. Did yeah. you receive a present from Crocker? What was that for? Okay, that was not sneaky in the slightest. Now we have to kill every follower of the apocalypse. Then. Mm. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh boy. It's fine. Is it's it fine, fine though? Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be okay. Oh, it would have been easier if we just poisoned them all. Then they wouldn't have been able to trace it back to us. Yeah, uh, Kimball, you've ruined everything. Damn. <laughs> That's right, damn. Kniv. Kniv. Is that like K N I V? Oh, okay, N L V. That would be, dude. If you had a metal station and it was K N I V. <laughs> no, you're listening to the knife. You're listening to the knife. Hey everybody, how's it going? There's a lot of people in here. There's there's a lot of new people here. Oh damn! There's a why are there so what what happened to Freeside? We were here ten minutes ago and now everything's different. There's a bank. There's a Cerulean Robotics. The hell is this? You get your hair cut. You get your hair cut outside the Kings. Nice. It's a random woman. Hey, what do you need? Bye. See ya. From this angle, it makes my tits look huge. I also have the same voice as that woman over there. Big wrestling fan, are ya? This is the toilet. Hello. Oh, gross. You just shit in front of just everybody. shit in the yeah. streets? Gross. Oh, it's, it's just a bucket. <laughs> or maybe you just stand in there and you just get irradiated. Hmm. Hi? Wow, you are horrifying. Wait, do we have to kill all the kings? Yes, we do. All of them? Even the children? Children, children you need to leave. I mean, we don't have to kill them. Maybe they'll be scared away. We... They're probably gonna die in the crossfire. Look how many people there are in here. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill a lot of kings. And we had just established peace between the NCR and them. The shit. Death wish? I'm just going to stand and Come watch. On. Typical politician can't be allowed to get his hands dirty. Problem solved. Did we kill the? No, the ch the children survived. Yeah. Hooray! The children survived. Thank God, corn dog. The corn is the one that did it. Pin the blame on the corn. Oh yeah, no, we can just blame the corn dog for this. It was evil corn. Evil corn. All right. Uh, we probably should get rid of all the kings. Huh? Yeah, there's this one guy. Yeah. You hear the commotion. Can't leave witnesses. How does he know? <sighs> Wait. They don't care. All right. All right. Even the guy that cuts hair that works for the Kings is like, hey, man, you got to do what you got to do. Khan's got the hint. Yes. Did you have an update on the cons? Is it just me? Or did you find Colonel Cassandra Moore slightly attractive? You just like domineering women. You like being bossed around. No, that's not true. Colonel Moore, would you do Zach the honor of being his big booby dommy mommy? <laughs> <laughs> Those duplicitous rebels have been dealt with. Good riddance. Okay, now what? While you were out, General Oliver arrived and briefed all senior officers regarding a change in our strategy. I'm not at liberty to divulge what was said, but I've been instructed to send you to him immediately. Change in our strategy? Are we, are we not gonna kill people now? Ooh, we're gonna go see General Oliver. Killing up the chain of command. Yeah. I, I mean, we're bringing the chain of command with us, so. Yeah, yeah. By the way, are you uh, done with that Santa suit? You want to give that to somebody else now? Oh, yeah. I, I guess, um, you know what? Uh, why didn't Hope wear it? How festive. Goes well with the war trophy you've taken. Oh, shit. He's right here. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, good. Greetings, General Oliver. Well, you took your sweet-ass time coming here. What? <laughs> Let's get down to brass tacks. I just found out! We need to tax everyone. Ta tax everyone? I mean, I say tax them all. Let's not waste time then. Our biggest problems right now are tax evaders. Those damn tax evaders. Get out there and kill those fucking tax evaders. Of course. 
I thought we were having a change in strategy. This is just more mass murder. Yeah, this is just more... At least now we're killing tax evaders instead of just random civilians. Also, General Oliver, I can't help but notice that you didn't greet Betsy. Say hello. Pet Betsy, damn it. Do it. <laughs> Caress the udders. Do it now. Touch the cow. Do it now. Who's getting killed at Good Springs? Oh, I hope it's not Doc Mitchell. Oh, no. We're going to have to... Well, someone's gonna have to pull the bullets out of your head, Doc. Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what just happened? Oh! What? what just happened? Oh! Get down! What? Whoa! What? what? What's going on? I'm so confused. What is happening? Get down! Someone's throwing. Is Pete throwing dynamite at us? Oh, is it Easy Pete? Is Easy Pete the tax evader? Incoming! Is Easy Pete! <laughs> Get him, Hope! Take down that Pete, bastard! No! Get down! Oh my god, oh my god! Ah! Uh, uh, that's some kind of dynamite, alright. Staring at a mouse hole. You get him, Hope? Is he dead? Oh, that was scary! That was that was kinda scary! What the hell, Easy Pete? May you rest in easy peace, I guess. Oh, 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 I just slammed his crotch into the room. You don't care, he's dead. It's like an episode of Jackass. <laughs> I'm, you know, honestly, I'm not even disappointed that he fell off the roof. I'm impressed I even managed to get him up there. Whoa! Where, where did his body just flew off into the distance? Yeah, his body just disappeared. Well, I guess he's on the big roof in the sky now. Okay. Thank God we... Oh no, <laughs> Kimball, Kimball committed some war crimes and accidentally killed some random settlers in the line of fire. Or maybe it was Easy Pete. You know what? We'll blame Easy Pete. They were accomplices to tax evasion. Oh, uh, that's what it was. Yep. Did you know that you're legally required to file any illegal finances on your taxes? I'm sure, yeah. Wait, did we file our taxes, Zach? When was the last time we filed our taxes in Vegas? D did you, um... Did you include the gold bars that we found in the Legion cash? I don't know what gold bars you're talking about. I never found any gold bars. Especially, because if I found any gold bars, President Kimball, I definitely would have filed them because I love the NCR so much. Yes, it, paying taxes is our patriotic duty. It we is. I believe that I have... I. No, I have never done my fucking taxes, Mike. Of course I haven't done my taxes. Now they're out of your My chair. service, my service to the NCR is my taxes. Oh! There's a lot of tax evaders oh, in here. Oh, no. Which one of you is it? <laughs> Merry Christmas, who gets to die? I just gotta wait for him to start moving and then I'll be able to tell. I think it's him. No one cares, right? No one cares. No, they all care. Oh, they all care! They all care! <laughs> Jesus, Kimball. And I thought Lyndon B. Johnson engaged in war crimes. What the fuck? But I want you to pile body upon body. Um, <laughs> wait, 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 hold, uh. Wait, whoa, uh. I mean, hey, man, why, why don't you come along? The more the merrier. Yes. Yes. Hello? We're, we're killing tax evaders, but I guess you don't really care who dies. Yeah. Kimball, uh, meet Volpez. Volpez is, uh, I don't know, he's like the assistant to the assistant regional manager. Yeah, he's yeah, like... He's, uh, really not, he's really not that important. Uh, Volpez, I think you might know Kimball. He's the leader of the NCR. And he's my friend. Well, eh? Walleye. That's a type of fish, Volpez. Very good. <laughs> Can we take a moment to examine our wonderful crew we've amassed? Yeah, let's look at our let's look at our weird thing we've got here. So the, here's uh, here's you. Uh, you're. I'm bog standard. Yep. Yeah, that helmet is definitely standard. We've got Betsy. Betsy is going to become a permanent fixture. Sure. We love Betsy. We love Betsy. We've got Corn Dog. We love Corn Dog. We've got Kimball. Kimball, okay. Kim we don't love Kimball. <laughs> we've got Hope. Yay, Hope. Yay, Hope. We've got. Seasonal Protectron. That's all right. We've got Volpez and Colta, and apparently Volpez is friends. A, a friend of Volpez is a friend of mine, apparently. Yeah. Mike. Yeah. The true spirit of Christmas is togetherness. <laughs> yeah. And what is togetherness if we cannot bring the Legion 
and the NCR together. Why did I look at the wrong ones when I said that? <laughs> Wait, I know what you mean, though. But yeah, what is togetherness if we can't bring the Legion and the NCR together? Yeah, in the spirit of Christmas. The spirit of Christmas. It's a shame we'll undo everything when we rewind time. Also a shame we had to murder every single other person. All right. And now we kill everybody at the gun runner. No, maybe not, maybe not everybody. Well, we gotta go in there to find the... What's gonna... Can I come in? No, you can't come in. What if I, what if I just put one... What if I just put one foot in there? No, don't you put one foot on there. So you got a lot of turrets on your roof there. Can't help but notice all those turrets. And all I have is a... You don't care? Oh no, they care! Okay! Jeez! Jeez! I didn't want to take on the gun runners today. They're usually heavily armed with guns. It's fine, I got a police revolver! Murder. You're under arrest yeah, you're for being a criminal! I know you're all gonna be dead in a few minutes, but you, you better pay your estate tax or uh, next of what do you call it? Uh, inheritance. Yeah. Inheritance, yeah. Pay your inheritance tax. Incoming. Grenades indoors! What an excellent idea, Zach said to himself, crippling both of his arms and legs and head and penis. Whoop! Hey, we got Get some tax evaders here. You're all tax evaders! I'm with the IRS! And I'm with the ASPCA! Our Where's your stray dogs? Next time pay your taxes and also spay or neuter your pets. I don't care if you think you're going to breed them. You know you're not. There's already enough cats in the world. Stop bringing more in. We're having trouble finding homes for them. I don't know which person was the tax uh, evader, but they're all dead, I so. I don't know. It's not like they're labeled. All right, I think we're good. Okay, cool. Hey, Betsy. Hello, Legionaries. I almost shot him. <laughs> like, I, I straight up almost shot him. I know. <laughs> hey, Ali. Ali. What? What? Tax evaders have been dealt with. Excellent work. Our sources have tracked most of the tax evasion back to Mr. House. The consensus is that the evasion will stop if he's removed. <laughs> what? Just because you get rid of John Q. Tax Evader doesn't mean that all the other tax evaders will fall into place like dominoes. I think the NCR wants us to set an example. And if he can't do that, then no one can. That's thinking with your nugget, General Oliver. So you want to attack Mr. House? No. I want you to. So I, oh, I guess we're doing it then. This is a weird Christmas quest. Oh, you, you just now noticed. Well, let's go see Mr. House. Okay. Move along. Uh, you guys are all going to shut down in a couple minutes. Hey, you mind if we go in and kill Mr. House, Victor? Victor. I I actually can't give you any advice on the lucky 30 years, Adam. But I guess the bees won't mind the place. It would remind them of a better time. Why would it remind them? <laughs> Before the apocalypse, I assume. Wait, what the? Who are these guys? You, you guys escorting the Oh, Oliver is with us. <laughs> Oliver just came with okay. us. So we were gonna go in the front door, but I think that's not the right way. Yeah, I think they want us to go into the Lucky 38-er. The, the back door? Yeah, let's go L in this one. Lucky 38-er. It's, oh, uh, yep. Get down. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Now look here, look here. Miss uh, 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 Mr. House up to security, or Mr. House-er, I guess. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot more. I got one. Deploying grenades. That's the noise I would make if I was a robot. Why was I programmed to feel pain? No, don't kill him. It's a bartender. No, it's a bartender. He's oh. stuck behind the bar. He's going to give us drinks. Drink. The oh, my God. He just fired a grenade into a pillar a foot away from my head. Ah! Identified. Hey, robots. God, there's so many robots. Why is my grenade launcher not firing? Oh, is your grenade launcher broken? Top to your sidearm. Come here. I just had to swap away from it and then swap back. Okay. Ah! General Oliver, save me! Save me, save me, save me! Or Kimball, save us! Mr. President, get down! We can't let you die! Get down, Mr. President! You're the most important person here! Get down! Is that it? The majority? Oh, there's one down here! There's one down here! That robot dying noise is incredibly annoying. Yeah, is it? That sounds like static. 
Everybody split up. Mr. House is hiding somewhere around here. All right, gang. Let's split up and look for clues. Oh, oh, there it is. I found it. Abiding citizens. That is a giant manhole fear. cover. Why is it so big? I why are you asking me? I didn't Why is that manhole cover so big? It looks like the giant penny that Two Face had in that episode of Batman the Animated Series. Oh, what a surprise! Eccentric billionaires invest their money poorly. Why are we going to the sewer to get to his panic room? Who keeps their panic room in a sewer? Is this the way? That's the way. Control room. Okay. We're gonna take house down once and for all. Time to say your I'm prayers. gonna make sure that I use buckshot. No, I wanna use birdshot so it's as painful as possible. Time to take you off the market. Hope you got homeowner's insurance. Yeah, let's go, Mr. House. I hope when it opens, there's just a little house in there. <laughs> oh, I thought it was, I thought it was empty. <laughs> it, wait, it is, it is empty. <laughs> is there, is there what? There? It's not here. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Centuries of money wasted. So much good undone. So much good hot hot dog? So so much good undone? Is that what you said? I thought he said so much good hot dog. Hot dog! Corn hot dog! Corn dog! Corn dog! Corn dog! Corn dog. Corn dog. Uh, General Oliver, that guy is standing right there to your right. He he wanted he wanted me to get rid of you. Ah, General Oliver. I should have expected. Come now, don't play the fool. Lay down your weapons. It's not too late for my mercy. Yeah, mercy, you want that, don't you? Well, what do I what do I get? I'm offering you an incentive as crude as money. There'll be Ooh. plenty of that. <laughs> $1,000. $1,000 to betray the NCR. Hmm. Mm. How much is lo your loyalty worth, Zach? Oh my god, I just realized he's wearing a Christmas hat. Oh, it's so dark. Oh Can't my god, it? he's got a freaking Christmas hat on. We had a mm. Christmas hat earlier when we, we were giving him presents. A thousand dollars? I could buy half of a Benelli M4 for that money. Okay. Could buy an eighth of a K truck with that money. And then drive around a tiny Japanese truck. That's, it's not a lot of money. I don't know, General Oliver's looking at me and it's kind of, it's kind of <laughs> freaking me. You know what, you know what, I don't like how General Oliver's looking at me. Deal. Well enough. Be on your way. So we don't actually have to shoot General Oliver or... Uh oh. Okay. You know, when he said $1,000, I should have figured that it would be 1000 pre-war dollars, and those are absolutely useless. Oh, shit, we should have haggled! I bet you he would have given us more. Why do, why do I feel like you guys are all staring at me and judging me because I just traded out our values for 1000 pre-war dollars? So, I'm sorry, is it my... It, I'm gonna make it feel uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? I... Traitor. <laughs> yeah, Mr. House offered me money. Fuck off and die. <laughs> hey. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> okay. Oh, my God! <laughs> Ow! Okay. All right, that didn't go... <laughs> what? <laughs> Psycho... Psycho Mantis. <laughs> Mantis! <laughs> You're trying to deliver gifts but tax collectors keep taking them? <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You're, You're that ninja! ninja. <laughs> You're that ninja. <laughs> oh my god! Of course, of course. <laughs> Man, this, there's just so much bloodshed this holiday season. Wow, oh, good lord, this has been a bloody holiday. Well, at least I can fix my armor. I'm so, I'm so confused. The mantis was wearing the helmet. It's so horrible. It's, uh, it's kind of cute in a weird way. It's horrible, okay. Yeah. Lay down your weapons. Mmm, no, I'm gonna fight you. Because last time you gave me pre-war money, which is useless. I'm surprised you can still underestimate my power. Don't try it. Uh, but I've come here to kill you, Mr. House. You'll die instantly. <laughs> okay. Will I, though? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that would have been a problem if we didn't have grenades. That, yeah, that could have gone real bad. Well, Oliver's dead. What? What do you mean, what? Uh, we need backup. 
I'll use the NCR emergency radio to protect me. Go kill those bastards. <laughs> to protect you? <laughs> well, I'm glad that these chumps are here. Hey. What? We need more backup. Yeah! yeah. yeah! How many times can we do this? Oh, no. How many times can we do this? What? Oh, what? that was oh, it. Oh, <laughs> just only two times. All right, let's go. So a lot of people following us now. I am Robert Edwin House. <laughs> How could you kill a Robert? What a grand and in- Hey! hey. Uh, How could you oh, kill a Robert? Oh, yeah. Ah! Good thing we got all these meat shields. Oh. Wow, he went down like a bitch. Yes. And his friends, his friends did too. I'm glad I brought all these pulse slugs. Yeah, we brought all these companions, but the, you know, they're just kind of jamming the choke points. Uh, it's fine. Oliver, Oliver, we need more reinforcements. What? Everyone fine. you called in is dead now. Yeah, they did not last very long. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Unless there's one more outside. Maybe, maybe the final Mr. House is the one we fight outdoors. Maybe it'll be a giant Mr. House. That's a fine bit of work back there. Robot. Truth told, I'm surprised you made it out of there in one piece. Surprised you did. Fucking Mr. House. We'll get him next time. What? what? We'll get him next time? Didn't we just get him? I thought we got him. Oh, because his body wasn't in the casket like it should have been. Oh, that's what it was. So this is a to be continued. I see. Ooh. Anything else? Nope. We're done here. Okay, that's very finite. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy you know, Ramadan. I, I feel... Even though Ramadan's in, like, July now, because it's not synchronized with the Gregorian calendar. Yeah. I'm like, Kimball's still alive. I expected him to die in a blaze of glory. Lee Harvey Oswald him. See if I care. Mm -hmm. Lee Harvey Oswald, this guy. Please stand. Please do not use your weapons. He barely got a scratch. Oh, ah! oh, great! President Kimball had a failsafe. Well, we have a feast for anyone who wants it. Merry Christmas, everyone! And I Merry Christmas to you, Betsy. Look at all this corn. I, I actually I don't know if corn is good for cows. Maybe maybe don't eat that just yet, Betsy. Hang on, hang on. I need, we need to find you some oats or something. Probably can have that corn though. Oh, by the way, Mike. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I love oh, you, man. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was convincing. <laughs> wow, boy, I sure feel good about that one. I could buy two hundred five dollar foot longs, except I don't think they actually sell them for that price anymore. I don't even necessarily think they sell five dollar foot longs anymore. Also, this subway's kind of gross. Yeah, the last time I was there, I had a hair in it. Yeah. I mean, it's still better than Jimmy John's because subway actually cooks the food. Yeah, but I like Jimmy. Well, I liked Jimmy John's. You can't have bread, that's yeah, right. Yeah, the bread, and also I think the mayo, maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> mayo intolerant. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you for your patience, Mr. House. Uh, I'm, we're thinking it over, we're thinking it over. Hang on, what else could I buy with a thousand dollars? I could almost pay off my student loans. Could you? No, I couldn't. Absolutely not. No, no there's no way. Are you kidding? That was, a, that was a really bad joke. Could you could you pay off the interest on your student loans? I Maybe. But the thing is, it, it, it's always accruing interest, so... Yeah, well, because there was that one person that was like, Well, uh, my student loans are getting paid off, so nobody gets their student loans paid off. So they, they started that court case, but, like, I got in on the thing for, like, student loan forgiveness, so I'm just not going to pay it off, and then basically the entire time that they're doing this court case, I don't have to pay my student loans. Right. So I'm just hoping that... I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm kind of hoping that, like, best case scenario... This just this court case goes on for like forty years, and by the time they finally decide what to do with it, I'm just dead. <laughs> That's a good strategy. Yeah, you know, just ignore it until it's not a problem anymore. <laughs>